everybody got the bag now. Everybody got the bag now. Seven figures on me, diamonds dripping on me, baby. Yeah. He's back. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, baby. I am back. What it is, Scooby TV? What's poppin', brother? Man, I am so happy to be back. I was on punishment last week. My wife would not let me come out the house. She said, oh, no, you no. ain't going to the show today. Nowhere. You will not leave the building. No. But he's back, ladies and yes, gentlemen. Yes, I'm back. Kobe TV is back. Yes. Yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, yes. We got a special guest in the building tonight. Yeah, yeah. We got Nathaniel the Great in the building. Yeah. What's up, yeah. Yo. How you doing? What's good? Yo. <laughs> What's good? What's good? Good, good. How you feeling tonight? I'm chilling, man. I appreciate y'all having me. What's good? What's going on, fellas? Yeah, we, we, we pleasure, brother. Yeah, great to have you on, man. Great to have you on. First and foremost, man, like, you know what I'm saying? You know I've been watching you for, for several years. Um, but I just watched your, your Instagram go to one million today. You got one million followers. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. It's a small. Appreciate that. that one in more, baby. How do you feel about that before we get into anything else? Man, it's, I mean, it's just definitely, uh, well, salute to you, Reg. I appreciate you always supporting me. It's been a long, a long journey, man. Um, I'm just honored that that many people are tapping in. And, and I know I got a responsibility to really hone the craft and, and give people quality product, quality music, and just always spread a positive message, man. So I'm, I'm humbled by it. Yep, and that, that you've definitely been doing. I'm super proud of you, mate. Like, like thank you. Said, you know, I definitely watched you, you know, put in the work from getting shot down to, you know, asking me personally, what is it going to take? What is it going to take? And that's just my perspective. So I know that you've been out there doing that to hundreds and hundreds of other people. And that just goes to show that Word. hard work pays off, man. I'm, I'm super proud of you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We got a lot to talk about, Nick Daniels. How long you got? I know you're busy guy. How long you got? How long we got you for tonight? Um, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm it's so crazy. I'm actually in the middle of house hunting. <laughs> Y'all got me while I'm middle looking at houses, but I, I don't miss interviews. So copy that. I want to play a couple of your songs to so. get, get out familiar as a little uh, familiar with you. Um, okay. Me, let me find you online real quick, just so before we play your music, so they can do some homework. Oh, for sure, for sure. Easiest way, um, Google me, Nathaniel the Great. Um, everything will pop up. Instagram is Nathaniel Online. Twitter, Nathaniel the Great. Facebook, Nathaniel the Great. YouTube, Nathaniel the Great. I also have a Nathaniel app. If you go to the app store and search Nathaniel, you should be able to grab that too. That's what's up. You've been doing right. it for a long time. You already got the app. And it's starting to pay off. It's starting to pay off. No, he's he about said. to become a household name. So Luke McDaniel, this is something that he did many moons ago with uh, DJ Khaled, Drama, and Dua. Let's go. And K.K. Slays goes, call King of the Streets. McDaniel the Great. Let's go. Let's get it. K.K. Hey, Slay. Yo. Yo. I am no rapper. But if I see all some rappers, I'm better than most of them rappers. <laughs>
Nah, that's Rock Kim line. I kick through the door. Now that sound more like mine. Stunning all the time. God stifle the bond. Educating these savages and pushing the lines. The two are living. I keep them down by my side. Straight stunning magazine. You know how I ride. DJ K Slate from around the way. AKA Slap your favorite DJ. But that's some old shit. We get money right now. Real forces on the track. Who be shutting it down? So the spray cans, the great dance, the real MCs, the DJs with fast hands. I live for this shit. I die for the game. New York, motherfucker. I ride with no names. Warning, warning, warning. Set up warning all the drama king is in the building. It's about to be on. We don't raise it. Throw your hands in the air. All this popping bodies, we can bring it everywhere. We don't raise it. Oh, 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 man. Yeah, that was Salute. Alright, that was fire. Yo, what was it for doing uh, a track with, with those, you know, future legends? Like, those are all the legends in their own right. Yo, for me, I mean, I definitely was humbled by it because that was a track I did early on. And it was um, before I did a lot of my other work. It was actually one of the first features that I got. And for it to start off at that level, I mean, it was pretty much like a wild factor for me. And just a little bit about the way that happened. I, I did a record with Pat Poos first. Um, and he, you know, him and K Slay is airtight. Mm -hmm. So that connection, you know, Slay was like, yo, who's that on your, your hook, Pat? And... Pat sent me to Slade. Slade called me in the studio. Was like, "Yo, listen, I need you to come up with a hook to this." I didn't know who was going to be on the record until it was done, <laughs> and I was like, "Wow, Khaled drama!" Like all the D the idea of it too was like all of the DJs rapping for a change. If you notice, that's DJ Drama, DJ Duop, K Slade, and Khaled. They don't rap, but they wanted to come together and do like a DJ rapping record. So it was pretty historic, and and I'm just blessed to be able to get on that joint. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Thank you, man. That's another one. It's another one. No doubt. Yo, <laughs> I know that you started out here in New York City. I've been watching you, like I said, but it seems like you have relocated to ATL. Um, what, what's, what's that? Mm -hmm. Everything just down there. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Like the first, the first thing was like COVID. You know, with New York being shut down for, due to COVID and ATL being still active. I'm like, if I'm going to keep this thing going and keep growing my brand, let me just go to a city that's active where I have a single that's moving. Let me go move it around. Yeah. I was just going to stop by. But then once I got out here, I had two shows lined up. Right. I, as I did events, I was getting booked for more. So two shows turned into eight shows in a matter of two weeks. I'm like, wait a second. Right. It's a different reception to not only artists, but to um, an R&B artist in this market yeah. that I'm like, all right, let me just... You know how LeBron took his talents to South Beach and he got the chip. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. It's like, let right. me go yeah. take my talents where it's appreciated and where I could build a different type of a support base around it to succeed. And now I'm now I'm a resident. You know what I mean? That just that quick. That's big. That's super big. dope, man. Big up to you for taking that leap of faith to relocate. That's hard enough in itself. Nah, salute for real. Fine. Scary, scary. Definitely leaped yeah. off a cliff. <laughs> but just yeah. taking that chance, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. wish you all the best, all the luck, man. So far, uh, I, want, I want to get into that, that that single that you mentioned that's really moving. Um, it's called Cash Out. Um, mm -hmm. It is super vibing. It's everywhere. It's playing everywhere. You can hear it on every major radio station and every streaming platform. And it's done by this young man right here. And they thank you great. Check for him and listen to this joint. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody got the bag now. Everybody got the bag now. Seven figures on me, got me stripping on me, baby. Yeah, I'm about to cash out. Everybody got the bag now. Everybody got the bag now. Seven figures on me, got me stripping on me, baby. Yeah, I'm about to cash out. 
about to cash out. We're getting money, it's a culture. Turn a nigga to a soldier. He's swiveling over his shoulder. Bad shit, got mediocre. She wanna like sugar, baby, come and see all the police station boss. Swimming in a rover. Bad shit, got mediocre. She wanna like sugar, baby, come and see all the police station boss. Swimming in a rover. Bad shit, got mediocre. She wanna like sugar, baby, come and see all the police station boss. Swimming in a rover. Bad shit, got mediocre. She wanna like sugar, baby, come and see all the police station boss. Swimming in a rover. Bad shit, got mediocre. She wanna like sugar, baby, come and see all the police station boss. Swimming in a rover. Bad shit, got mediocre. She wanna like sugar, baby, come and see all the police station boss. Swimming in a rover. Bad shit, got mediocre. She wanna like sugar, baby, come and see all the police station boss. Swimming in a rover. Bad Everybody got the bag now. Set the fingers on me, baby, stripping on me, baby, yeah, I'm about to cash out. Everybody got the bag now. Everybody got the bag now. Set the fingers on me, baby, stripping on me, baby, yeah, I'm about to cash out. Put your feet for the cases. Now it's only celebration. Drive by, so they don't drive in. I think the fam need a facelift. They ain't prison, they ain't facing. Thank you, man. You just sung it. You just sung it better than me. Yo, this is the Raw Truth Radio. Don't lie to these niggas. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, so we're working with 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 Khaled and K Slade, man. Like, who are some of your other artists? Some other artists that you you look for working with? Oh wow! I mean, I've worked with quite a few. I've worked with uh, French Montana, um, Ross, Drake, Wheezy. Got joints with um, Sheik, Styles, uh, Wu Tang. I jumped on one of their projects in 20, 2014. They did a project called "A Better Tomorrow." I got their leading single called "Keep Watch" on that joint. Um, Mayno, Fred the Godson, rest in peace. Chinks, Drugs, Troy Ave, Casanova. Just um, between doing hooks and then some people jumping on my records, I just been blessed to get a crazy, crazy resume of um you know just joints you know what i'm saying ll cool j he's on a single that i have called love he actually jumped on that record for me which was a blessing as well wow that's big right there yeah that's big, that's that's big. Right there. Wow. thank you that. thank you now nah, l was definitely one of those legends that you can't you can't pay him for a feature if he's not rocking with it you're not gonna get him you know what i'm saying and, yeah. Yeah. right yeah. so what was that like 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 how 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 uh, that must be inspirational to work with somebody that's been in the game for so long, and you know mm-hmm. not only on the music side, but he's on the you know the film side. Like right, I must have been been crazy in the studio. Yeah, so, funny thing is, like he was at, in LA, I was in New York when we okay. did it, so we didn't get in the lab at the same time. But it was one of those things that I didn't think was gonna actually happen. You know, you ask for something, and I was like, yeah, I got you, I'm gonna do it. And then it's like, yeah, he lying. He not going to do this shit. <laughs> and then <laughs> you could think, <laughs> yeah, what you think? He just, he capping and then he send back the joint and the way he rapped to it, he rapped and like rapped to it. Like about, you know how some people will sit, like they'll do a feature that's sort of written. You could tell they wrote that just years ago and they just throwing you something. Right. But then some people could feature on a record and talk about the topic and use the words that's in the chorus. So it was specific to my song and Right. You know the stuff like that, man. You can't even put a, a words to it. Yeah, it's like just unreal. That's no, big. That's big. big. You, you gotta send me that track so I can rock that out. Oh, for sure, for sure. I got you, big bro. Nah, no doubt, no doubt. Yo, uh, the world don't know. Well, I, my fan base may not know. You are a dad. Um, tell us what that experience is like, and what you're looking forward to, and how much she actually motivates you. I mean, it's definitely like everything. As you can see, it's like these dudes, they don't leave your side. You know, parenting for me is just another thing, another new passion. I mean, I've been a parent for a while, but now my first son is 16. I had it when I was 17. So I really didn't um, see it from the same lens as a parent. Now being 34 and having like a new 
on. It's just a different kind of appreciation of expanding your family and having a reason to win. Um, my 16 year old though, he's an artist as well. You know, his name is Zay Oblivion and I'm kind of just taking him through the ropes of this industry and he, he got, he wanted to do it. So I said, listen, I'll, I'll all the bumps and bruises that I absorb just so that you don't have to go through it. So we're going to make this a quick process for you. And for the young kids, man, they all over him because he's at that age group, they more impressionable. So he's doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And this young guy is, <laughs> I have no clue what he's going to be doing, but he's definitely he's rocking thinking. out with us. <laughs> he was just rocking out with us. Right, got the, yep, yep. Yep. Hey, on the two-step, for real. No, that's big, that's big. So that means we're going to be, we're going to be seeing a, a future project, son and father project. We're going to have. Yep. Interesting enough. My single is me. Me and him got a record together that we're going to drop soon. So I'm going to send that to you. With you. See? Oh, that's man. what's up. That's what's up. So we got to get you and your son on the show at the same time. Word yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for real. Bella for the fellows. Yeah. <laughs> Word. So, nah, that'd be dope. Nah, that's dope. I, I want to throw in another one of your tracks, Nick Danger. You got so, so many uh, tunes. I wish we had a lot more time. Uh, but this is called Run It Up. Uh, I want to Let's get it. And we're going to get back to you, ask you a few more questions before we let you go. We appreciate your time, brother. Nick Danger, no doubt. You're on the Refuse to Lose show. Let's go. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate you. Appreciate that. I wanted to come up with a joint that kind of fit the frequency of like the Brooklyn drill while I'm here in the A. I feel like, you know, even though I'm leaving the city, I wanted to bring like what's really prominent in our city and I'm singing to it. So it's really rare that you hear the drill with singing. And I wanted to kind of try that element out and see how that works. So that was kind of the inspiration behind that particular record. Nice. Uh, I, yeah, I would love to be in the Atlantic Club. Wow, that was like... Mm. Appreciate that. He is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know that that's a good look out there. That's a good, man. Uh, Nick Daniel, what's, what's, what's next, man? Like, uh, I see that you, I see your movements personally, but let the world know what's actually next for you. What's on your... Well, next, defin
But of course, that's contingent on just like whether things fully open or not. But the biggest news is the album on the way. And I'm really excited to drop this project for everybody. It's going to have a mix of multiple different sounds. And let's just see where it goes. <laughs> no, that's what's up, man. Congratulations on that. You always have a, um, a, a platform here in, in us. Um, you got a whole new fan base with my fan base, our fan base picking up on you. They're going to love you. Um, and we wish you all the success in the world, man. Thank you so much for your time, bro. And, and man, I appreciate y'all, man. Much love, and I'll, I'll love to come back, man. And well, I was just about to say to you, the album release party is going to be on the Refuse to Lose show on Raw Truth Radio. So when you're ready to drop that album, you let DJ Next Level know, and you'll be mm-hmm. on that Tuesday, yes, sir. Like the whole entire show <laughs> dedicate, dedicated to Nathaniel the Great on Refuse to Lose. I love that. That's how we do it. Appreciate it. That's how we do it. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, my brother, sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact, man. We got to support each other, brother. Yeah, now we, we're going to keep, uh, continue to support you and continue to watch you, make that you may again. Thank you for your time, and congratulations on all your streaming success that you've newly encountered. Your fan base is growing exponentially uh, in days. Um, I know you're watching it the same way I'm watching it, and again, I'm super proud of you, man. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much, man. Much love, Reggie. Peace out, fellas. Thank you. What is you ready or what? You gon' ride with us, you ready or what? You gon' ride with us, you ready or what? You gon' ride with us, you ready or what? 